probably you have happened to hear different words from Russia about the talks, as if they were ready for them, but they talk about the talks but announce military mobilization. They talk about the talks but announce pseudo-referendums in the occupied territories of Ukraine. What is true then? The military mobilization in Russia is true. Sham referendums are also true. Russia wants war, it's true, but Russia will not be able to stop the course of history. Mankind and the international law are stronger than one terrorist state. Russia will be forced to end this war, the war it has started. I rule out that the settlement can happen on a different basis than the Ukrainian peace formula. The further the Russian terror reaches, the less likely it's that anyone in the world will agree to sit at one table with them. And if my words will be followed by new Russian missiles and acts of terrorism, it will only prove their weakness. Russia's weakness, its inability to prevail over us, its inability to prevail over the world. It will only prove that five items of the Ukrainian peace formula must be implemented as soon as possible. We are ready for peace, but true, honest and fair peace. That's why the world is on our side. I thank you. I thank you for your attention. Once again, I wish you all peace. Slava Ukraini.